Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are installing the Renergy 100 watt panels up on the rack we put on. And it has been a mission, let me tell you, to find bolts and stuff to make this thing happen. Because each of those cross beams are a different width. Uh, the hardware store here was closed. I had to drive 50 miles to a another hardware store. And they only had... I really didn't have much anyhow uh all day again working on this project but it's all good we'll see if we can get something to happen now <laughs> Get up there, set down your panel, make everything, see where your panel wants to sit down. Lock your crossbars into place. Get Make you a little template. Go ahead and drill your holes through your crossbars. Then set your panel back on top. And what I did is I took a screw and put some like Loctite on there. Um, not, not the gooey stuff, but the kind of pasty stuff. And stuck it on the head of the nail and came up through the holes and literally just put a mark on the panel where it's hitting take the panel back off and then you all right guys so i finally got the first panel in from up top how to use three different type of fasteners that one's a screw that one's a seven mil that's got a lock tight and then these are just kind of like they're not in there very good but i did run a bead of silicone on the front and the back they do seem to be in there pretty good and we're gonna start on our second All right, guys, so I got that one side done. And to be brutally honest, installing the racks and now installing the solar panels has not been fun. Um, yeah, you know, a lot of these projects you know, it's for a specific goal in mind. So you just got to carry on with that ideology. Just knowing that it's, uh, there's a specific task happening that's to get solar on here. And if you have fun while doing it, that's even better, you know? That'd be pretty cool. But um, with this in particular project, just, area is so tight to get into and my arm just didn't fit in there very well um, and it took a really long time there's probably a better method than what I did of course a lot of these van builds you know are just like this where um, people are just winging it and going for it see what they can do and so that's kind of what I'm doing. I mean, I've looked at a lot of YouTube's videos as much as I can, see how things happen, but those, never seen one like this where they're showing you how to install. I would imagine, like, if you could uh, lay down like a 
some type of big template and just really marked it. It may have helped a little bit, but still just getting your hands in here to uh, get it right, man, that'd be something else. But hey, how do you like this little idea? Take a little bitty screwdriver You like that, huh? Like that? Pretty slicko. So anyhow, well, I hope this helped you guys out. Um, bloop. All right, guys. So finally got that the panels installed. So if you guys got the Renergy and you want to hook them all together and just have one line going in, make sure you get the double set of here, two male. Two female for two and the one and then also I wanted to go if you were looking for a way to get that through the roof and you were thinking about getting the link solar cable entry waterproof ABS solar double thing see how big this guy is there ain't nowhere to put this thing it doesn't fit there it fit there there's nowhere really for it to go um, anywhere up top off the back here too much rocker too much curvature anywhere for it so I'll do something a little bit different and it's try to run the wires into the back light right there. so I'm gonna try to run it through the tail assembly here you would figure you take these screws out and it would come out but oh no you gotta take these out find the plugs and bloody your knuckles while doing it so guys if you do decide to do this um, just remember you're going to be running in your cables to the holes that actually mounted this outer shell to the mounting bracket so um, there was some lining tabs on the inside here right here and right here these were lining tabs I broke the tabs off drilled the holes out and when they lined up in here, there, and there, I just drilled some holes, and I'm going to do a little set screw in there. And also, for uh, for drilling out the hole, I kind of made sure I could go at an angle like that, run the cable through there, and then we're going to run them into these two grommets right here. So here we are. They're installed. They got offset just a little bit, but not too terribly bad. I wanted to keep it on the left side, so that leaves all this room if I can drop these down so I could put some boards or still use the rack as being utility got the wires coming down um, taped coming back into the light this is where I went in put those little screws sealed all that put those screws in and then let's get on the inside so the inside, you can't really tell. They are in there. Oh. Well guys, this is gonna be the mock-up. Um, so just put a cot in here to see how things work. Wanted to clean it up, wanted to hook up the system to see how well everything was gonna go. And yeah, I got the fridge happening. This is the Yeti 3000. So doing a test with the Yeti 3000. The Synergy 200 watt, it is, I don't know, eight, nine o'clock, just a little bit of light, but as you can see here, uh, seven watts coming in, output two amps, the medic's running. I had to do this crazy stuff to just to get this thing to work because this Anderson power pole connection threw me off, man. I had no idea, I'd never mess with it. These big fat cables came in, but they wouldn't fit in these guys. I got 15 amp Anderson pole. These connections on the Yeti, I don't know what they are. 12 volt coming out, just regular car plug. And uh, anyhow, it seems to be working. This is at 39 degrees. 
And um, the system's up and running, even at this low light situation, so I'm pretty stoked. Um, weekend was like one of those weekends that was one step forward and two steps back all weekend. The simplest little thing ended up turning snowballing at every corner. But, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. I call it stackers. You know, so... Uh, yeah, it was trying. Um, doing the van stuff is a lot more technical and difficulty and so far not quite as fun as the uh, container build has been. But the container build you know, was working with foam and wood. Stuff that's a lot more forgiving. Um, you could see your uh, see the fruits of your labor a lot more readily and quicker while this build has been painful because of um, elevations just all kind of different stuff man uh, I was working in flip-flops on top of everything else man I cut open my foot really well good and that's kind of sore it was trying let me tell you man this was trying um, you know, I, it was a success. I was able to get the rack up, able to get the solar panels up, and able to uh, hook it up and make sure everything worked. You know, I've been holding on to that Dometic fridge for quite some time, and the Yeti um, generator, the Yeti 3000 generator. It's just been sitting there, but now I got those hooked up. And they're hooked up to the solar panel. Now the fittings on the Yeti, again, that is something to be, I mean, you just got to be in the loop, I guess. Know beforehand and have prior knowledge of that kind of stuff. Because coming fresh into it, let me tell you, man, it's something. You know, you read, oh, it takes these type of fittings, don't do the wattage over. So unless you really know, you're just shooting in the dark and guys, you know, you may be in my situation or right down the road from Home Depot or electric store, but I'm not, you know, I'm, uh, the closest Walmart to me is 50 miles, so it's 100 miles round trip. Um, my little town has just like a little convenience store, and that's basically it. And anyhow, I mean, I don't want to just go on and on and on. But, uh, after it's all said and done, you know, you got to think, sometimes on those weekends where it's kind of, you're just frustrating, but, you know, you do progress, like, let me, for an example, when it takes 15, 20, 30 minutes to put, to get a nut onto a bolt, because your arms don't fit into the space, and you're at the very end of your fingertips, it gets a little frustrating. <laughs> Anyhow. But I'm glad it's all done. Um, I think everything's on there nice and secure and tight. As far as uh, anybody getting, trying to get that off, man, it's, it would be a mess because without just cutting it off with a saw or something, trying to undo it would be a mess. And, you know, it is able to come undone. That's why I went with the rack. So that they can be swapped out, changed out, without putting any more holes into the roof of the van in the first place. And putting holes in the roof, that was another issue. Um, going through that reverse light camera thing, I think it was a pretty good idea. I hope that tape holds up, though, where I ran the cords through. That's the only thing I'm kind of wondering about. But, um, yeah, tomorrow I'm got to do a good little drive to get to work. So, it'll be a good test. And, well, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Um, you know, hopefully my, uh, my gains and my losses will help you guys out if you're doing such a thing right here. Maybe some ideas, um, 